Soil is defined as the uppermost layer of the earth's crust in which plants grow. Plants need soil to grow. It holds the roots of the plants firmly and provides water and other essential nutrients to help them prepare food. Soil is a home to many insects and microorganisms. There are three main types of soil: sandy soil, clay soil, and loam. Sandy soil does not hold moisture. Thus with water, all other essential nutrients also flow away. Due to this, it needs regular addition of fertilizers. Clay soil is rich in nutrients because it can hold moisture, but it forms hard lumps when wet. It also develops cracks in hot weather, causing harm to the roots of the plants. Loam can hold moisture and is rich in nutrients. It has good qualities of both sandy and clay soil. Hence, it is best suited for plant growth. Soil formation. Formation of soil is a very slow and gradual process. Soil is formed by the breaking down of rocks due to the action of wind, water, temperature, and microorganisms. This is called weathering. Composition of soil. Soil consists of a number of components. These include soil particles, humus, minerals, water, and air. Various organisms like earthworms, snails, insects, and other microorganisms like bacteria and fungi are found in soil. Earthworms are very helpful to the soil and are known as farmer's friend. Microorganisms like bacteria and fungi also help in the complete breakdown of dead plants and animals. This process releases minerals back to the soil, thus enhancing its fertility. Soil erosion. The removal of top fertile soil by wind, water, or other factors is known as soil erosion. Soil erosion results in loss of soil fertility. Some factors leading to soil erosion are wind. Due to wind, a lot of top soil is blown away. Especially in desert areas, strong winds carry a lot of sand with them and deposit them in the form of sand dunes on the fertile layer of the land. Let us understand soil erosion by wind with the help of the following activity. Take a tray and fill it partially with soil forming a heap. Now, keep the tray on a table and switch on the fan. You will see that some of the soil is blown away. This is how the top layer of soil is blown away by wind. Water. Water causes soil erosion in two ways due to rain and due to running water bodies. Heavy rainfall results in the removal of topsoil. Water flows at a great speed down the hills and loosens the particles of soil. This results in washing away of the nutrient-rich soil, making the land barren. Let's perform an activity to understand the removal of topsoil by water. Take a tray and fill it partially with soil. Place the tray in an inclined position in an empty tub. Now pour some water on the soil. You will see that some of the soil is washed away. This is how soil erosion by water takes place in nature. Deforestation. Excessive cutting of trees or deforestation is one of the chief reasons of soil erosion. In the absence of trees, soil in that area become quite loose and can easily be taken away by wind or water. Other causes are overgrazing by sheep and cattle, poor farming methods, natural causes like forest fires destroy plant cover. Soil conservation. The protection of soil and its prevention against erosion is known as soil conservation. Planting trees is the cheapest and most effective way of soil conservation. Terrace farming is a very efficient method of soil conservation, especially in hilly regions. The erosion of soil along the river banks can be prevented to some extent by building dams. Grazing should be allowed only in some particular areas meant for it. Tetanus. Tetanus is an infection that affects the nervous system and leads to severe stiffening of the body. It is caused by bacterium. Tetanus infection. The pores of tetanus bacterium enter a human body through an open cut or wound. They produce a powerful nerve poison. This poison spreads inside the body, especially in the spinal cord 
and causes paralysis and stiffness in various muscles of the body. The symptoms of tetanus start appearing after 10-12 days of the infection. The early symptoms include headache, muscle contraction and stiff jaw. The disease if not cured in time can also cause death of the person. Prevention of tetanus. Some of the ways to prevent tetanus are Children are usually given prevention from tetanus by a vaccine called DPT. Tetanus can also be avoided by a proper cleaning of cuts and wounds with an antiseptic solution and by taking antibiotics. The injection of tetanus must be given after any skin injury.